Hello everybody, we have some sad news today. One of our beautiful legends has left us for that other place, wherever that may be. Lovely Cinderella this morning collapsed in the field um, and we couldn't get her back up. So we waited for the vet and yeah, she was put down. So it was as smooth and as calm as it could be. It was um, horrible for me and for Nick. Sorry, I might cry. I'm gonna try really hard to hold it together for this. Um, but what I did do was I was filming for um, for you guys actually. I was filming because this week we've been away. Well, I've been away. I went and spent a couple of days with Sadie, and uh, Cinderella had been ill last week, which is why there've been no videos. We've been nursing her sort of 24 hours for the last week and a bit. Um, and the vet had been, and we were unsure what it was. We sort of stabilised her, and we we got about we we were all pretty sure it was age related end of her life but we weren't sure there was talk that it could be a tick related disease so she had Lyme's disease so we were going to have her blood tested on Thursday to have that checked and lots of different things she'd been checked over she was showing signs of being old her heart was struggling and bits and pieces but there wasn't really any reason for her to be like she was um, she's always had problems with her breathing she sort of was the same the only thing that we think could possibly have triggered it was the heat. We had extreme heat here. We had, it was at 38, 39 a couple of days last week and it just got too much I think for her and unfortunately it just from that point on you know it just went downhill. So yeah I, I've been to Sadie's for a couple of days. Nick looked after her whilst I was there and then we've come home. Um, I got home late last night to, to be with her and uh, yeah this morning she wanted to go out in the field so I let her out and um, I went down to check her to do a little film for you and you see her in her final moments because within moments of that she had collapsed and we'd called the vet and the vet came out and we put her to sleep but it's really it's a lovely thing so I'm going to show you on this video this um, and I'm going to show you Nick with her in her moments towards the end and she laid on the floor she, she didn't want to get up obviously she laid on the floor and we gave her a feed on the floor and Nick and I spent a good couple of hours whilst we waited for the vet in the sun. We covered her up in a fly rug and we talked to her about her, you know, her old days and things. And uh, yeah, we had to say goodbye. But it's been a really hard day. We love him so much. But she's happy now. And she's up with her, with her mates. So I'm not going to carry on because I'm going to keep crying. I've still got to make this video. So yeah, so I'm going to give Staz a kiss, remind myself there are lots more and there'll be more in the future and know that we gave her the best possible end and we were with her for right to that very last moment. So it is a tearjerker, but it's a good one and she had a lovely, lovely life and thank you all for supporting us and thank you to our Patreons who have known that she's been poorly for about a week and they've all been giving us words of encouragement and without you it would have been a lot harder so yeah it's been a it's been a really really hard week but it's been an exceptionally hard afternoon so i'm going to make the video now and um yeah let's celebrate her life and and remember her for how beautiful she was hello all what an unexpected week it's been it's been a difficult week to say the least or two weeks nearly now um, last week, just after our last video, dear old Cinderella here, who you can just pick up in the background, um, started to collapse for no reason. So we've been off air for a while because we've been nursing her 24 hours and then I went away to stay with Sadie for a couple of days because we had some things to organise. Um, and Nick's been looking after her, the vet's been here. Um, yeah, it's been really, really hard. It was very, very touch and go. We weren't sure if she was going to make it. And to be completely honest, we're still not sure if she's going to be okay. The vet is coming again on Thursday um, to take more bloods from her and see if we can work out what the situation is. We think it might be Lyme's disease. So that's got a specific blood test, which we're going to have done now um, to see if we can see if that's what's doing it. because. She has lots of health issues, age-related health issues anyway, that we deal with on a daily basis. Um, she's okay in herself now. She's not suffering in any way. So that's why we're hanging on. We're not, you know, we're not going to say goodbye just yet. But we are, we are at that point in her life. It's fragile. It hangs in the balance. And this is what we deal with. You know, this is what we do. We take them on at this age and we know that they're going to have these health issues. And we know that, you know, sometimes 
you know, without any warning, this happens. So she's in the back there. She's with her little friend. And as you can see, she's not eating. She's just sort of standing there. Um, she's the most shocking part of this is the amount of weight she's lost. I've never seen a horse lose so much weight in a week. Um, she is eating up at the stables and she's sleeping. This is her first day out in two weeks. So, um, yes, yeah, so I think she's probably just enjoying some sun on her back. But she has been eating and she has been drinking. But we don't know whether it's an age-related illness, um, whether it's just her getting old and it's to her time, or whether it's um, yeah to do with the Lyme's disease. But hopefully once we have the results from the Lyme's disease, we'll know. And then, um, then we can treat her accordingly. But as I say, it's very, uh, it's really, really hard. Don't like it because we love them all so much. But yeah, so we're just going to just keep, keep looking after her and you know do our best to to give her a comfortable end if that's what it is or keep her comfortable and hopefully she'll be trotting around the fields in in a week's time and we'll see but either way we're we're here and we love her dearly so we'll go over and say hello um, I'm not going to do too much with her because you know as I say she's she's had a really rough couple of weeks and yes yeah, it's just not been nice for anyone but I will go and say hello and uh, yeah I'll come back and see you all in a bit. Liv. Hey Cinders. Are you relaxing darling? Are you having a bit of time in the sun? Good girl. Okay, so we're here. Um, I've come back from work early because Cinderella has collapsed in the field um, and we're waiting for the vet to come. So um, she's got very, very wobbly and uh, she's very, very poorly. Um, but she's just sat up. She's been laying down flat and she's tried to get up a few times. And now, as you can see, she's just having a little munch of the grass so she's obviously feeling a little bit better but she's very very weak so we're just trying to keep her calm and keep her um, as comfortable as possible um, it is quite hot here and there's lots of flies as you can see so we're just trying to say keep her as calm as possible and wait until the vet um, arrives but yeah it's like it's it's that um, kind of what the what to do for the best so hopefully when the vet comes we'll be able to um, update you and um, yeah, we'll see what's what. Um, so I'll bring you some sad news that Cinderella, uh, in the last um, few minutes, the vet came to see her and um, she's been put to rest. She was, uh, he said that her heart was really struggling and we've had some very, very hot weather here in the last um, couple of weeks and she always had a problem with her breathing. So given the fact that the weather was, it was uh, almost off the record hot that kind of triggered a chain of events which has ultimately led to her um, yeah being put to sleep which is it's sad and it's, um, it's, it's always hard and no one ever wants to get to that point but um, it's a uh, it's part of what we do and um, we're we're here for them and I was with her and Jenny was with her right till the very end um, and uh, 
yeah we owe that to them and um so it's it's been a it, it's always hard and uh, yeah making that decision but the vet he was a um, uh, lovely young vet and uh, very um very conscientious and uh, went very quietly and checked her all out but as i say he said that her heart was really struggling and had been and that's what kind of kick-started all those complications so um yeah we're here for him um right till the very end and uh like i said it's not easy um but they deserve it and they they uh they definitely um they definitely know you're with them and jenny spent a lot of time i came back from work a bit early today uh <clears throat> got the call from jenny to say that she had been out in the field which you you'll probably have seen earlier and she was happy and um you know so she's uh yeah out to pasture as it were so it's one of those um one of those things but um yeah she was she was uh, loved until the very end and she was she wasn't left on her own so um yeah uh, an Im important decision and uh, and it's glad in another way it is kind of a it's always a relief when um you know the suffering ends and they're not in I say suffering she wasn't uh, she wasn't bad it was just a case of those underlying issues and obviously that all caught up with her in the end so um yeah a sad day at the the moon household uh, or at the ranch as it were but um yeah she's with her with her other friends um wherever that place may be